What's up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm discussing the brand new A24 indie film, Eighth Grade. Now, this film is directed and written by Bo Berman. Yes, the Vine star. At least that's what I know him from. He's also done some comedic stand-up. He was in The Big Sick last year. But to me, he was a Vine star. The great days of Vine. I'll reminisce about Vine for a little bit. All right, done. Eighth Grade is, wow, what a fantastic film. I really didn't have a lot going into this film. You know, I heard what it's about. It's another coming-of-age story. We've gotten a couple of those the last few years. Lady Bird, Edge of Seventeen. So I was kind of just expecting the same type of thing, you know. I enjoyed all those films. I think each one of those films is very special in its own kind of way, in different kind of mannerisms. But 8th grade, I was kind of just expecting another special coming-of-age film. But my god, let me tell you this. Yes, this is a very special coming-of-age film, but I have to say it's one of the best coming-of-age films I've ever seen. A lot of that goes to Bo Berman's direction and writing in here. He does such a fantastic job directing this, and of course this is his first directorial debut, which again, man, this is one of the best directorial debuts I've ever seen. He does such a fantastic job capturing the realism of being in 8th grade and that middle school life. Last week of this little girl's 8th grade life, you know, she's going into high school next year, but we're seeing how she's doing, how she is. You know, she does these YouTube videos like I do, but talking about stuff that she wants to do and who she wants to be. And even though she might not follow those, you do kind of see it building up in her as confidence. And that has to be some of my favorite aspects of this film. But overall, another favorite aspect that I really did enjoy about 8th grade wasn't just the story that Bo Berman told. Because, it, yeah, it's a pretty simple story, just the last week of 8th grade. But it's the realism that he captured. You know, it brought me back to memories within the first 10 10 minutes i was like sitting back little zach pope in eighth grade in miss mango's class yes that's actually my teacher so miss mango shout out to you i was sitting back in class being an eighth grader being a little brat and being a little dick you know in there and it's so funny to see how well he captured that because it was just a flash forward of memories that i had forgotten about for years blocked out because i didn't want to see that because eighth grade was hell and eighth grade is hell in here it brings back those memories you see the brats you see the dicks you see just the stuff that eighth graders have to deal with and it was such a fascinating thing that all those memories came back to me it makes me come in to say that Eighth grade is such a relatable film for, I think, anyone, anyone who's gone through eighth grade, anyone who's about to go through eighth grade. It's one of those films that I think anyone, and I mean anyone, can relate to. The most relatable thing in here is the performances in here. My God, Elsie Fisher, she's going to be a name to remember, guys. She gives one of the best performances of this year. If not, this is my favorite performance of the year. I think she deserves an Oscar nomination for later this year. She is so brilliant. Capturing the magic of Bo Berman's script and being such giving is such a great performance of her. You know, you do feel like she's in eighth grade. She is just the perfect match for this. And also one of my favorite aspects of this film is the relationship that she has with her dad, Josh Hamilton. He has some of the best lines in here and some of the, just the most heartfelt moments too. And I think one of the most important things in here is Bo Berman's script. You know, the way he wrote it, he captures a lot of the digital age in what is to say digital age of middle school you know a lot of middle schoolers are just always on their phone kids always glued to the screen and i'd be lying if i said that's not me sometimes but it's in capturing in a different kind of manner that i really did appreciate you know it's it's different and i love that he captured it so very well my god the score in here is great as well it feels like that it has a digital techno kind of thing to it but it works for the film it just engrosses you it just captures you even more into what 8th grade is all about. 8th grade even captures the cringy moments of being an 8th grader, which at times I was like cringing there. And it wasn't because the film was bad or that the dialogue was bad or that the acting was bad. No, it was cringing because I was like, that's me. That was me in 8th grade. That was me in 8th grade. That's me in 8th grade. Absolutely loved 8th grade. I think this is one of the best films of the year, hands down. I can't believe how much I enjoyed it. I did not expect to enjoy it this much, and I think this film is almost a near masterpiece, and especially since this is Bo Berman's first directorial debut, it's fascinating to me. Elsie Fisher's a star, Josh Hamilton's a star, and man oh man, I can't wait to see what Bo Berman does next. With all that said, I'm going to give 8th grade an A-. 
have a couple nitpicks to the film, but I'm not going to get super into them because I don't need to. Eighth Grade is just a film that you guys should set out and go see this weekend. It's expanding to a lot of theaters, and this is the film you guys should check out. Of course, guys, if you guys are new here, let's comment down below and talk about Eighth Grade and talk about A24 in general. Make sure that like button and also consider subscribing, especially if you're new. If you guys want to talk more movie and geeky culture, not even just on YouTube, go hit up all my social media links, then go check out Sandwich on Films down below because right there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews over there by me and other people. Of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.